Pava Otontari, we are here in your home country of Finland, and wow, you've taken pole position. Um, yes, thank you. Uh, it's amazing to be on pole in my home, and um, yeah, I'll do my best in the final. Well, after qualifying a good run through the heats as well, you're looking good for the final this afternoon. Yeah, uh, we've been really consistent in the heats, um, and yeah, it's looking good. Generally, racing with the German KSM Schumacher team, you've had a pretty good 2017. The team gets better and better as well, particularly working with your young teammate, David Schumacher. Um, yeah, um, we've had a really good year this, uh, this, this season. And um, yeah, also David, David has uh, improved a lot so, uh, from last year. So yeah, it's been a good year for us. Of course, for most people racing this weekend, it's their first experience of racing in Finland, but you've done thousands of laps here. What's it like to race at the Mika Salo circuit? Um, to be honest, it's my first race here, but uh, I have to say the track is really fantastic and it's, it's, it's really nice to race here. And the level of competition racing the European Championships compared to the Finnish National Championships? Um, uh, the driving standards are uh, very different. But uh, if, if you're mainly if you're fast in, in Finland, you, you are fast here as well. Well, Pavo Tontari continuing the fine tradition of Finnish racing drivers. Best of luck at the European Championships here in Alahama this afternoon. Thank you very much. Have you ever known a talkative Finn? No, they let their driving do most of the talking. Pavo Tontari continues the fine tradition of drivers the likes of Bottas, Raikkonen, and Tony Villander, who's here at the circuit this weekend, Mika Salo. Also, there's a lot of them, and we're delighted to have global rallycross star Thomas Heikkinen also here this weekend. Of course, two-time world champion Mika Hakkinen also, whose boy Hugo Hakkinen, international competitor in years gone by. And also Pavel Tontari will start to the right of your screen, the outside of the front row of the grid. Well, after here... There is just one round remaining. That is in seven days' time at Christianstad in Sweden. The previous round of the series was held at Le Mans in France. That was where we raced. And incredibly, the weather in France was not as good as it was up here near the Arctic Circle. It was a great weekend. Let's have a look back what happened at the last round of the European Championships when we raced at the legendary Le Mans circuit in France just a few weeks ago. Le Mans, arguably the most famous race circuit on the planet. That was a few weeks ago. This is arguably the most spectacular. This is the Power Park Circuit, Alaharma in Finland. You will see in a few moments' time, while this is what like a real-life scale electric slot car set. Absolutely amazing, featuring a figure eight over and under style bridge. Tremendously quick. These OK carts, a top speed of 129, maybe 130 k's an hour. However, the average speed, the average 101 kilometres an hour. They don't go below 65 k's an hour on any part of the circuit. One minute board goes up. It's an all green front row of the grid. This is the fourth round of the European Championships here in Alaharma, northern Finland, just a couple of hundred miles south of the Arctic Circle. 
Petro Hilfrand, the reigning world champion, the reigning European champion, is on the left of your screen in the 101 Tony Cart. He only qualified eighth, but he had a couple of heat wins, worked his way up, and he's done enough to secure pole, as you can see. Pavel Tonthari that we just heard from a moment ago starts on the outside of the front row. There is the grid about to be pushed into life. The CIK European Championships get stronger and stronger as the green flag flies and we are ready to race for the final time here in Finland. 34 drivers. In a few moments time we'll go wheel to wheel over 25 laps of this 1,326 metre circuit. You can see the roller coasters in the background. This strip of bitumen is the best roller coaster here at the Power Park. Hill Brandon Totter in the far front row of the grid. Then it's Balansov, Dennis the Menace, Hauger, David Schumacher, the kid from Kirpen, alongside Valtonen, the mighty Moroccan Taufik, Novalak, Krulton, and Pusher. Then we go to Travis Anuto, winner last time out in Le Mans, Simonov, Millel and Lynn Fors, Callum Bradshaw, Daniel Webster, David Vidal is the championship leader out of 17, alongside Nue, Finn Keneally, Bin Abdul Ghaffar, Mustafa Muizadin, and it's the two Swedes, Blomqvist Olin, Tom Joyner, the 2013 world champion, alongside Rabin Sario, Carol Bash, the 2015 world champion, alongside Vaskelis, Ulis de Pal, Luca Lightning, Lipkow. Then we go to Esteban Muth, Laura Leppi, Axel Sarniala, John Niolakainen, Rupert Ropanen, and on the very final spot on the grid, the boy from Brazil, Caio Colette, who had a disastrous run through the heats in the 1-2-0 Birol Art Cart. He's a lot faster than that, but did have a couple of freak failures and will come storming through from grid number 34. Hillbrand warms up the Lacan tyres. Tontri does likewise. Watch for Hauga on the outside of grid number two, uh, row number two in the CRG. Here in the sunshine of northern Finland, we get ready to race. It's an all green Tony Kart front row of the grid. We race in Finland. Tontari tries to take the lead around the outside, and he may just do so. Hilprin, though, ensures that the reigning world champion, 101, will lead them down the hill for the first time. Good start by Schumacher. Tontari's been hung out to drive. How about the Moroccan? Super semi Taufik in the Ricky Flynn Motorsport Cup up the inside. Oh, what a move by Super Semi! Unbelievable stuff here on the opening lap here in Finland. The Moroccan takes the lead off no less than the reigning world champion. The move of the race has come on the opening lap of the race. Taufik will lead them across the line for the first time. Unbelievable move by the mighty Moroccan. Taufik leads from the reigning world champion Hilbrand. Bulansev, Schumacher's in P4. Then we go to Tantari, Kruten, Hauga, Novalak, Valtonen, Travis Anuto, Lin Fors, Finn Keneally's made a great start. One ahead of his countryman, Callum Bradshaw. They go under the bridge for the second time. Pavel Balancev on the back of Hilbrand. Can't find a way through there. Look at Schumacher. Third on the road, fourth in the race. The bright green helmet, Taufik's already disappearing up the road. There's Hauger going through in the CRG. Taufik with an enormous lead after two laps as the field stream across the line at 129 k's an hour. Down the hill, over the ripple strip, into the infield hairpin. Down the inside, Schumacher has been taken by his KSM teammate, Pavel Tonthari. From the outside of the front row of the grid, back to fifth, Pavel, the local favourite, is now into fourth. They stream out from under the bridge. Hilbrand, 1-0-1. Balancev, the Russian is right behind him. Let's see the gap. It was six tenths of a second between Taufik last time. He was on the podium in Le Mans, remember? They've taken two tenths of a second out of him. Balancev in third with the fastest lap of the race. 
at this early stage. So the FA cart leads the two, the three, the four Tony carts of Hilbrand, Bulansev, Tonkari and Schumacher. Schumacher's countryman, Nicholas Cruton. He's into six spot. Dennis, the menace, Hauga. Something has happened to the CRG pilot. We're looking for him. He has not come through. Also an incident for Muitza Din, the Malaysian Uli Stupau. What has happened to Dennis Hauga in the CRG? Hauga is out. Dennis the Menace Hauga, one of the favourites. The leading CRG has retired as Balancev goes down the inside and takes the reigning world champion for second place. Can the Russian get the Moroccan? Will the Spaniard fight back? You better believe it. 1-0-1. He's the reigning European. He's the reigning world champion. And he's one of the most aggressive, ferocious competitors in world motorsport. Pedro Hiltland from Blanes, north of Barcelona in Spain, runs in P3. They're closing in on Taufik, though. The gap is down to three-tenths of a second. Let's cap the order. Taufik, Balancev, Hilbrand, Tontri, Kruten, Schumacher, Valton and Novelak, Travis Anuto and Callum Bradshaw rounds out the 10. Halga has retired. Oh, Lister Powell for VDK Racing Team is also out, as is the Malaysian. Bin Abdul Gafar, Mustafa Muizadin and the Swede, Daniel Webster. From the back of the grid, the boy from Brazil, Caio Colette, just does the fastest sector of the entire race. He's up into 20th on the back of Lightning, Luca Lipkow and Tom Joyner. Here they come across the line. Taufik looks behind him. This is one fifth race distance. Balancev is right there. Fastest lap now for Kruten. The best of the Germans having got past Schumacher, who's faded down into 10th spot. Kruten with a 42.420 up into fifth. On the tail of Tontori. Again, Taufik looks behind him. They stream up from under the bridge. Tremendous speed. That is a chicane there, but they're almost taking it flat out. They exit the bridge at just under 120 k's an hour. Around about 118, 119, 129 k's an hour right there. Taufik now has to go defensive. Balancev all over the back of him, runs a little bit wide. Hilbrand saw that. The Spaniard, if he gets half a chance, he will pounce. But he's not quite close enough. And he's under pressure from the flying fin. Yes, we have to use that cliche. It is Pavel Tontari. The drivers that started on the front row of the grid are running back in P3 and 4. Kruten, he could well get up onto the podium. The German for Ricky Flynn Motorsport runs in P5. This time, Hilbrand on the back of the Russian. The Russian himself is trying to get past the Moroccan. Over the ripple strip, he goes wide, does Taufik. He'll be under pressure. He has to defend. He blocks. He goes down the inside of the circuit. One, two, three, four, and five. Taufik, Balancev, Hilbrand, Tontari, and now Nicholas Cruton. Hilbrand, he's the one to watch, but Tontari has just got past the reigning world champion. Cruton wants a piece of the Spaniard also. That gives Taufik the slightest bit of breathing space. They go under the bridge. This is only lap number nine of 25. One third race distance. We've completed eight as they go up through the far part of the circuit here at the Power Park facility, Alahama in Northern Finland. Hiltbrand's now off the podium. Position four under pressure from Nicholas Kruten. The Moroccan leads, the Russian leads, the Finn leads, the Spaniard, the German, the Brit Callum Bradshaw is driving a brilliant race. He's now the best of the CRGs. He's in P6. He's dragged Lorenzo Travisanuto in the Zanardi car along for the ride. Schumacher, he's in eighth. The series leader, remember, Davi Vidalis leads the championship coming into Finland. He's ninth. And tailed away in the energy cart, the Frenchman rounds out the 10. Pouchere, winner of the first round of the series, second in the championship. He sits in 11th spot, ahead of Keneally, Blomquist, Linforce, Simonoff, Millel, Joyner, Lipkow. They're a long way back from this battle, though. 
One, two, three, four, and five. What a sight this is. The freight train comes down the hill, down the inside. The Tony car takes second spot. Tontary, the local favourite. The crowd erupt. The fans are on their feet here in Finland. Their boy, Pavel Tontary, runs in P2. Can Bulansev respond? They ride the ripple strip here in Alahama. Krutum watches on. He's waiting for his moment to climb up onto the podium. The gap was 0.2 of a second between Taufik and the rest of the field last time round. It's out to 0.6 of a second. Tontary in second. Bulansev in third, but only just watch for Hilprent. The move will come at some point. You better believe it. Cruton in P5. Bradshaw still driving superbly in position number six in the CRG. The first non-OTK chassis. That is Callum Bradshaw. Travis Anuto, Schumacher, Vidalas. Turn away, still holds P10. Up to the far part of the circuit. Tontary, fastest qualifier. Here in Finland, he comes in front of the pack grandstand. The fans willing him on. They want him to win. The gap, they've taken a tenth out of Taufik that time. As they cross the bridge in the middle of this lap, it will be exactly half race distance. Tontary in second. Goes a little bit wide that time, but gets an extra few engine RPM on the exit into the velodrome. This amazing corner here at Alaharma. That's why they get the speed under the bridge on the exit, because they barely wash anything off into the NASCAR-style banked oval here at the Power Park Circuit, host venue of the 2002 Super A World Championships, host venue of the 2003 European Championships. We've had to wait 14 years to come back to this spectacular circuit to race a European Championship race. And we are seeing a dynamite final unfold in front of us here this afternoon. Cruton still stays in P5. You just got a glimpse of Callum Bradshaw further back trying to desperately take the fight up to the OTK pilots. Under the bridge they go. There's Bradshaw just coming under the bridge now. The leaders, one, two, three, four, and five. We've passed half race distance. Tontary closing in on the back of the mighty Moroccan Super Semi. Second last time out at Le Mans in the European Championships. Taufik seventh in the series. Remember, the title will be decided in seven days' time at Christianstad in Sweden. Vidalis, the championship leader, still holds down position number nine. Second in the series, the first round winner, the Frenchman, Théo Boucher, from Nissan, the French Riviera. He's in position number 11, but second in the series. That's likely to change in 11 laps time. Taufik with the move of the race on the opening lap has led ever since, but he's under severe pressure now from Pavel Tontari. There's Bradshaw going through, Travis Anuto, Schumacher. Still the Moroccan manages to hold on to the lead, but Pavel Tontari is coming and coming hard. Now Taufik goes defensive, they come up over the bridge. He puts that RFM cart in the middle of the circuit. Into the velodrome they go like a slingshot under the bridge. 119 k's an hour right there. Into the right left, nowhere to pass. Tontary, he'll get the slipstream as they come onto the straight and bounce off the rev limiter at 16,000 RPM. What can Gruton do? Remember, he's also driving for the Ricky Flynn Motorsport team. Taufik puts it out wide, locks it up under brakes. Cruton, he won't wait too much longer. He sat there patiently in fifth, but unless he does something, he won't make the podium. He first has to get past the reigning world champion from Spain, Pedro Hilbrand. Remember, Pedro started from pole. He's back in fourth and currently not on the podium. As Tontari closes up on the back of Taufik down the inside. Can't do it this time. Taufik defends superbly. What a race we've got going here just a few hundred miles south of the Arctic Circle in northern Finland. One, two, three, and four, and five. They're on your screen right now. 
with eight laps remaining. There's Cruton, the German for Ricky Flynn Motorsport. He's RFM teammate, Taufik, the mighty Moroccan from Marrakesh, continues to lead, but the pressure is mounting. Tontori won't wait forever. Bulazev, the racing Russian. And be assured, if you know anything about history, there is no love lost between the Russians and the Finns. Finland celebrating 100 years of independence in 2017 from guess who? Yes, the Russian Federation. The Finn leads the Russian. Tontori from Balancev. He'll brand a little bit wide onto the straight that time. Taufik puts it up the inside of the track. No effort, Tontori, to get past. The laps are starting to wind down. The fifth round of the European Championships for 2017. Taufik has driven a superb race. Tontori. He's got the speed, but he cannot get past. Into the velodrome. Face slingshot under the bridge. There's a chicane under that bridge to make it even more difficult. But they take it flat out, be assured. The far part of the circuit. Over the ripple strip. That cost Taufik just a little bit. Just a few engine RPM. You can see the mechanics on the pit wall. As Tontori goes down the inside and he makes the move. Balancev will take the lead though. Oh, that's cost Tontori. He was briefly into the lead. But the racing Russian, Pavel Balancev, took the both of them down the inside. What a move by Pavel Balancev. The Russian now leads from Taufik. He will need to respond and respond fast because Balancev is quick. Kruten now tries the outside. He's tired of sitting in position number five. He needs to get up onto the podium. Oh, now the race is starting to come alive. Balance from Taufik. Hiltbrand's in P3. Tontori, that move has cost the Finn. And he's under pressure from Kruten. Travis Anuta is now up into P6. Schumacher seventh. Noe eight, still Vidalis in ninth, and Pusher now rounds out the 10 with Bradshaw and Keneally, the two Brits running in 11 and 12. Here comes Taufik, up the inside that Moroccan doesn't have to be asked twice. What a brilliant move by the mighty Moroccan. We knew that was inevitable. Semi Taufik is a super talent. They come on to the straight. He wants to win desperately after coming so close at Le Mans in France last time out. Hilbrand, Hilbrand down the inside. Has to get on the brakes mid-corner. That cost the Spaniard. He's under pressure now from Tontori. The Finn wants to get up onto the podium at least here at his home event. Still, Cruton runs in P5 and cannot get past. Into the velodrome. Taufik is skipping away under the bridge. 119 k's an hour right there into the right left that is where Taufik is awesome and he is now starting to pull away Cruton on the back of Tontori Hilbrand in P3 Cruton's got a good run Taufik the lead was 0.2 he's put it out to 0.4 of a second Bolancev in second spot Hilbrand over the ripple strip can he get past the Russian Cruton finally makes his move. He puts Tontri, the local favourite, back into P5. Nice move by the German as they go into the velodrome with three laps now remaining. Balancev looks behind him. Do you think that's an intimidating sight? The 101 Tony Kart of Pedro Hilbrand. Surely any other driver you would like to be sitting right on your tail rather than Pedro. One of the most talented racing drivers in world motorsport. Sits in P3. The reigning European, the reigning world champion. Third on the road. And he will make a move on the Russian before the race is out. Be assured. But he's running out of time. Two laps now remain. They actually close in a little bit. On Taufik over the bridge. The Moroccan leads. The Russian leads. The Spaniard here in Finland. Under the bridge. Taufik looks behind. Flat out. They close in on the back of him. Taufik super quick through that chicane. Hilbrand, he will make the move. It is going to come over the ripple strip. Taufik, he'll put it down the left side of your screen. The right side of the track closes the door. 
Hilbrand needs to make the move. Oh, the Russian almost thought about it. He goes wide. Hilbrand up the inside. They touch wheels. The Ward Racing team pilot from Russia, the Tony Kart factory driver, Hilbrand. Cruton, can he get up onto the podium finally? Totry's not out of this either. Taufik is skipping away. Hilbrand tries to go through on the velodrome. Taufik is going to win. They go under the bridge for the final time. What a race here in Finland. Hilbrand in third spot, the Russian holds second, there's nowhere to pass. The checkered flag comes out, the mighty Moroccan Super Semi Taufik wins an awesome race here in Finland. What a drive, what a race. That was absolutely spectacular. The mighty Moroccan Super Semi Taufik has won another spectacular race here at the Power Park Circuit in Alaharma. Oh, what a drive. Bulance P2 and the reigning European, the reigning world champion, Pedrito Hildbrand, comes home in P3. Cruton did get fourth at the race end. And the fan favourite, Pavel Tontori, comes home in position number five. This was the start, all green front row of the grid. But the move that won the race came on the opening lap. Remember, Taufik started on the fourth row of the grid. He was already to second into the velodrome on the opening lap. The reigning world champion, that won the Moroccan, the race right there. He withstood the pressure that came from all comers throughout the race. The last set would briefly take the lead, but not for long. Before the Moroccan put an awesome move going back up the hill. Tontori in second at this early part of the race was briefly into first but ran wide and with that the Finn kissed any chance of a podium goodbye right there and then. Taufik retook the lead. Is this kid a talent or what? And while the rest fought amongst themselves, Kruten, a nice move by the German going into fourth spot. Hilbrand and Pulance have touched wheels on the final lap. Meanwhile, Taufik took a sensational win. WSK Supermaster Series champion for 2016. He has won the penultimate round of the European Championships here at the Power Park Circuit, Alaharma in Finland. We will hear the Moroccan national anthem ring out on the podium. The mighty Moroccan Super Semi Taufik wins from the racing Russian and the reigning world champion Petro Hilbrand comes home in P3. Cretan was fourth, commiserations for Tontari. Good drive though, to come home fifth here this weekend. Travisanuto, Schumacher seventh, tailing away the Frenchman in the energy cart. Came from grid 18 to finish eighth. Vidalis was the championship leader, we'll see about that. And Poucher, winner of the first round in Italy, rounds out the 10. An amazing race, an amazing weekend. It's not over yet, though. We will have the podium presentation in just a few moments' time. Semi Taufik will stand on the top step, having won here at the Power Park Circuit in Finland. Stay with us. The podium presentations here from the Power Park Circuit, Alaharma in northern Finland, live on CIKFIA.tv in just a few moments. An incredible event all weekend, in fact. What an amazing circuit. What an amazing place to race. The Power Park Circuit here in Alaharba, just a couple of hundred miles south of the Arctic Circle. What a race we have seen here today. In third place, let's hear it, for the reigning world champion for Tony Kart from Spain, Pedro Hilbrand. Second place here this afternoon, the racing Russian, Pavel Polantsev. Second at Le Mans, he's gone one better. The winner here in Finland, you know it, it's the mighty Moroccan Super Semi Taufik. And representing the winning team, Ricky Flynn Motorsport, Mr. Ricky Flynn himself.
as we stand by for the national anthem of Morocco. podium here in Finland would like to call on Mr. Jorma Lilbaka, our host and the builder, the owner of the magnificent power park circuit here in Alahama to present the third place trophy to Pedro Hillbrand. Mr. Case van der Grint, CIK FIA Vice President, to present the second place trophy to Pavel Balancev. And President of the ASN of Finland, Mr. Juhani Pakkarin, to present the winning trophy to the mighty Moroccan Super Semi Taufik. And Mr. Thomas Heitken and WRX driver from the Global World Rallycross Series and flying Finn 100 star to present the winning team's trophy to Mr. Ricky Flynn. As the girls step in to present the flowers to Pedro, Pavel and Sammy. And we stand by for the champagne! to make the special presentation of the Avio Milano timepiece and the Panther fuel play voucher to Pedro Pavel and the winner, Semi. And we step in for a quick word with our three drivers, starting with the reigning world champion, Pedro Hilbrand from pole position, not the top step, but Pedro, what a race. Yeah, beautiful race, long race. Uh, well, we start for the pole. Uh, we were expected to win, but uh, you know, races. Sammy and, and Pavel did, did a fantastic race. So after Le Mans, I thought the, the the championship was really really difficult. It was. Now we we open it. We're gonna see what happened in Sweden. Let's see. Let's hope uh, the best for me. We'll see you in seven days' time in Kristianstad. Well done, Pedro. Pavel Balancev, a super race. You briefly led. That was a great move, but he got you back a couple of lap late, laps later. You came so close. Yeah, it was amazing race. All the weekend we had good speed, so there is a result. So I want to thanks. I want to say thanks to my family, team, and everybody who was who was supported me all the weekend. Congratulations, Pavel! Great to see you up here on the podium. We've waited a long time to say this. Step number one: the mighty Moroccan Super Semi Taufik, mate. What a drive! What a race! Yeah, well, I mean, first of all, obviously, thanks to my parents over there and, you know, to Morocco, just to my mechanic and, you know, mostly team for all the support. I mean, yeah, it was just an amazing race. You know, they know me by the starts. Uh, I managed to do first, you know, in the first lap, just, you know, 
Uh, obviously, he overtook me. Bulantsev overtook me. I overtook him back. But I mean, it might have been possibly the best uh, race of 2017 yet. Congratulations, Semi. Our podium here in Finland, Pedro, Pavel and Semi. However, we've got one race to go. We will be just over the border in Sweden in seven days' time. The final round of the 2017 CIK FIA European Championships. We'd like to say kitos swarmi. Thank you very much, Finland. We'll see you in Kristianstad, Sweden, in one week from now for the CIK FIA European Championships.